This is one sexy card. How's it going folks? This is Aviel Leos from the Children's Court and this is Tech Legion 19. For all you guys that are watching me on my Aviel Leos channel, uh, subscribe to Tech Legion 19 if you want to hear me talk about more techie things, more movie reviews, uh, more of the fun stuff. I want to try to separate the politics from the, the more fun stuff. If you're on Aviel Leos right now, because I'm going to post this video on Aviel Leos and Tech Legion, Subscribe to Tech Legion. See you guys over there. So as you guys can see here, I've got a special delivery from Apple. It's the Apple card. <laughs> as, it's not a surprise. I wanted to make a video about it because there is some real benefit to getting this card. And there's a lot of gray area with uh, a lot of the reviews for this card. But I just wanted to make a video to explain some of the benefits that you know people like myself and maybe people like you could get out of this car i was laying in my bed last monday <laughs> and um just this monday that just passed the little week of thanksgiving i was on twitter you know you get up in the morning you check instagram and twitter after you do your you know morning stuff and the apple card just scrolled by me and i was just like you know what what the hey why not try it out from twitter i went inside my apple wallet and i pressed on the apple card tab and applied and i think i put in my social security number and within two seconds i had an apple card offer from the time that i saw it on twitter to the time i was approved for a credit card and had an available credit line it was about three to five minutes max. It's absolutely the most convenient credit card that you could possibly get. When I'm saying I had a credit line, I mean ready to spend because even though you have to wait for your titanium card to come, if you choose to get one, your phone is literally your credit card already. So anywhere Apple Pay is accepted, your phone can be a credit card for you. I mainly got the credit card because the titanium credit card because it's cool. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously you pull this thing out inside a Best Buy or at a restaurant when you're with some friends or something. It's going to look pretty cool. You got me. I'm corny. <laughs> um, but that's not the point to getting the card. Besides the convenience of the card, uh, you can actually take advantage of being an Apple customer because I don't have the best credit on earth. I don't. I definitely don't have the worst either. I've seen some treacherous credit, but I got a little bit of work to do. That's exactly what it says on my credit report. You've got work to do. So um, I don't have the best credit. And this isn't the first time I actually applied for this card. I think I applied for it after I got my uh, latest iPhone. I wasn't approved. So what I did, because what Goldman and Sachs tells you is, hey, let us let us share some information with Apple, see how many uh, devices you have from them, how many services from them that you use, and we might be able to work with you. And that's what I did with this time around. The first time, all I had was an iPhone. This time, I had iPhone... Uh, Apple TV, Apple Watch 5th generation, my Apple TV is 4K, um, I subscribe to iTunes, I have Apple TV Plus, and um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Those things played a factor into me being approved this time because they said the same thing. It just didn't take any time to actually do it. And so they said, let us share this information with Apple. I said, yes, bam, you have a credit line and it was ready for use. So with that being said, if you don't have credit at all, or if you don't have the best credit, you could possibly still uh, be approved for a credit line. It won't be $6,000 or 30,000 preferably, like some people are getting, but you could get anywhere between 250, 600 and a thousand dollars depending on how good or bad your credit is for me this is gonna be a second chance at credit building because obviously they didn't teach any of us about credit 
uh, or you know taxes or anything <laughs> like that when we were in grade school which is a terrible flaw <laughs> inside the American school system the things you need in everyday life as an adult they don't even teach you they teach you calculus and all this stuff that you would need if you were gonna work for NASA and they don't teach you the basic things uh, that would help you with your finances as an adult it's crazy I'm getting a second chance at credit building and my credit's not that bad so it won't it will be fairly easy for me to get back up into the green with my credit if you have an iPhone and if you don't this wouldn't apply to you because you wouldn't have access to the Apple wallet but if you are an Apple user there's no reason not to try this out especially if you want to build credit or rebuild your credit so I'm letting you guys up into my life right now so this is the interface and this is pretty cool this is what i got when my credit line was cleared right here we have what my card balance is because as soon as i <laughs> as soon as i got the card i jumped out of bed and went shopping so i went to best buy and spent 178 bucks on old navy and spent 60. the cool part about this is if you look under all my charges you can see the cash back that i get so you get cash back every time you spend some money how it goes is if you use your titanium card you get one percent cash back if you use apple pay anywhere you get two percent cash back and if you you and if you're buying apple you get 3% cash back. So if you go to the Apple store and buy something or if you have Apple services like Apple Music or Apple TV, Apple Arcade, etc., you get 3% cash back. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> also, with this app that you get with your Apple card, is you, you get the benefit of knowing exactly where you're spending your money. So when you look at your bank account and you have large amounts of money <laughs> coming out uh and it's from you know some like with playstation uh the playstation 4 if i buy a game sometimes they'll wait a week to take the cash out and i'm like why the hell is 60 excuse my language why is 60 dollars coming out of my account and you don't necessarily always know because they have these weird shady cryptic names on the bank statement so here you get a clear picture of who you're buying from whether it's best buy cvs dunkin donuts old navy you know exactly where your money's going and you know that creepy ten dollars a month that's coming out four different times a month and it's in funimation and netflix and all of these places that you don't even remember that you subscribe to you know exactly where that money's going so you can opt out and like be like I don't need that anymore I don't even use that anymore you can just stop uh, you can cancel that service or whatever and then what is cool about the payment system is it's literally fun like I've paid I think like 70 no, it's probably like a hundred and something back already and the, it's intuitive ever since I got the credit card ever since I got the balance I, I've been coming here and playing around with this little circle thing and it doesn't have like these big red letters like you owe this amount of money your life's gonna be hell if you don't pay <laughs> so when you come here you're not intimidated you're not intimidated to come and look at what you owe and uh just look at your card balance just in general so i come in here frequently and like sometimes i'll just be like i'm just gonna put a couple uh, dollars in here. I've paid 30, 45, 26. I just, I like coming in here paying money. They've actually made it fun to pay your debt off. And right here you have your car, card balance and what's available. I have more available than that, but uh, it's the holiday right now, so it probably doesn't show inside your statement until the next business day, the next working business day. Um, it also tells you that you have daily cash it lets you know uh, when your cash goes into your Apple cash card and this is which this is probably one of the coolest things about it is uh, when you spend money you get money back so this is my cash card right here and over I don't know if this is all my you know uh, weeks purchases total totaled up 
but with all those purchases I got four dollars and ninety five cents back so about five dollars back with my cash back some of you might be like so what you got five dollars back for spending almost three hundred the point is if I was using my Bank of America card right here I wouldn't have got anything back <laughs> you know what I'm saying so why not use Apple car the uh, Apple card and get money back every day you get daily cash back so if you're not touching that cash then obviously it's going to grow and become uh, something more significant over time and I don't even pay attention to Apple Cash honestly I didn't even know it was there <laughs> until the, the Apple card service told me it was there so I'm not gonna touch it I'm just gonna let it keep on building up I buy a lot of stuff so the incentive to use the Apple card is there because you're gonna get money back for it so combining the convenience of being able to get approved for the card if you're a part of the Apple ecosystem uh, in a significant way or if you just have good credit is a benefit for people who don't have credit or need to rebuild credit like myself and I'm letting you guys into my life uh, by showing you guys this nothing there's no real serious stuff showing but that's a benefit and then the two percent three percent one percent cash back is just an added bonus for something that you don't have to invest in at all you know so I just wanted to for people who don't necessarily watch all the tech youtuber channels and stuff like that uh, I just wanted to get into it and show people what the benefits are if you have an Apple phone and you are ready to like be a responsible adult take on the debt and pay the debt off so that you can get uh, a good credit score and be able to access even greater funds for the things that you want to do whether it's buying a house starting a business or whatever then I would suggest going with the Apple card it is a really fun card it's like they made paying debt off fun that's insane to me it's cool the hard card is cool and it's convenient and I've been using Apple Pay uh, ever since I got my iPhone back and it's seamless it works like a second nature to me I barely use my debit card anymore because it's easier to just take my phone out and tap it so yeah I just wanted to cover a few reasons why the Apple Card would be good for some of us. There's a lot of, like I said, people that are reviewing it saying that there's so many better cards and uh, this doesn't give you all of the best uh, options and rewards. And what my point is, is if you don't really have the best credit or any credit at all, this is a great stepping stone for you. Probably into better credit with Apple to get a higher balance. And if you are one of those people that like to have a bunch of different credit cards, maybe this is, you know, a path to that. Like me, this, the Apple card is like a good for everything card. You get a good cash back rate. It's probably not the greatest on the planet, but you know, I don't need a flyer, a flyer miles and all that stuff. I don't need cash back on. Uh, you know airplane tickets and uh, vacations and things of that nature so I just need basic uh, convenient cash back for the everyday purchases that I, I make and I'm fine with that and I think most people would be fine with that so it's not a bad card it's just not the best card and the best cards go to people with 700 credit scores and uh, you know up <laughs> Apple card it's here I'm having fun with it, with it so far. I'm having fun <laughs> paying the debt off. <laughs> I'm never going to get over that. You guys have to see it for yourself and um, to understand it. So I'm going to leave it right there. Get in the comments. Let me know if you have Apple Card and what you think of it. If you're uh, you know, a person with great credit, this card probably doesn't intrigue you as much as it intrigues me. And it's probably not supposed to unless you're an Apple fan girl or fanboy, uh, or if you just like Apple services, to me, uh, it's a lifeline. So I'm going to leave it right there, folks. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.